Kevin? What are you playing with? Hey, uh, had a question the other day. Uh, a guy wrote in and he said, I just bought a rosebud for my oxygen and acetylene rig, just like the one you showed in your video. And he said, it pops. He said, when I, when I use it, it pops really, really loud. How do you make it not pop? Well, <laughs> uh, I could have used a little more information, like it pops when you start it, it pops when you're using it, it pops when it's really, really hot, you know, after you've used it for like half an hour, you know, give me a little more, more of a hint there. But let me just run through a couple of little basics, you know, a couple of little ideas of what it may be. So just because his English was a little broken, you know, I'm not sure where in the world he is, but I figured English probably wasn't his, his native language, you know, just from the way he was typing and speaking. I thought, hmm, okay, let's try one of these, because he said he bought a set of Victor torches. Okay? First thing, check your book see what the settings are for the number eight rosebud. It'll tell you right there in the book that comes with the rosebud. And I wrote them down. <laughs> uh, for the number eight, it's 20 to 30 PSI for oxygen. So make sure you read the correct dial. There's two different dials there. The inner one is PSI. The outer one is KPA, so you got a metric dial and an English dial. But just make sure you're looking at the right one, 20 to 30 PSI. So I like to run it at about 25, you know, so 20 to 30 is the range in the book. I figure, let's start it at the middle. If I need a little more heat, I can always turn it up a little bit. So the same thing with the acetylene. You know, the book says 10 to 15 PSI. and I just want to run it at about, you know, about 12 and a half, you know, 13, right in that area. Uh, always adjust them again later. So that might be one of your problems, or, you know, the problem is you simply got the gauges, so you got the pressure set wrong, and that's causing a problem. So another problem you might be having is people like to open up the acetylene, you know, just barely, just enough to where it just barely wants the light, and then it'll come over and hit the oxygen, and it'll pop like that every time. No. But if you open up your acetylene, and then you go ahead and adjust your oxygen, no problem. Turn your oxygen off, turn your acetylene off. No pop. Another problem that, heck, I've even done it, you know, a lot. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of new guys, uh, a problem they get into is they've got everything set up, they've got it running, they've got it dialed in right, and they're over here trying to heat something up, and they get too close. And if you get too close, you get too much back pressure against the tip, and it'll pop. Sometimes it'll blow itself out. It pops so hard. So keep your distance. About in there. You know, you don't want to get right down in the metal. You don't want to be way back here. Just get down in there where you're, you know, kind of close, but not shoving it right down into the metal itself. So, hopefully one of those is your problem, not all three of them. <laughs> you know, hopefully those will help. But let me get the rest of my stuff going here so I can get back to work. I'll see you guys next time.